you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Bloodborne OST. We checked out Ludwig and all of you told me that I gotta come back and check out Garman. Now let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. I've heard this one is just as good if not better than Ludwig. Ludwig was absolutely awesome. Bloodborne as well seems to be a game that I've got a, a misconception of because when I talked about what I thought the game was about a lot of you in the comment section said it's not as unforgiving as one would would have it seen. So maybe maybe I could play it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The, the idea of, uh, like, losing so much progression because you were killed and having to relearn a level, um, like, learn a level, and that's the point. That's not my kind of game, but you guys told me Bloodborne isn't really like that. I don't know, let me know a little bit more in the comment section. Also, don't forget, we are doing a huge giveaway on Twitch every single month for the next few months. We're going to be giving away $500. The way to enter is just to follow me on Twitch. That's literally it. Click that link to my Twitch channel in the description. Give me a follow over there. You're automatically entered into a monthly giveaway draw for the next few months where one person gets $500 every month. Also, don't forget to subscribe and put all your recommendations in that comment section unless you're my first time in reaction to the famous Bloodborne OST, German, the First Hunter. I thought Bloodborne was just... Is it not like Dark Souls? Or that other game that everyone loves? Looks very English. Like very gothic and old old school England. have a um a story the only reason i'm asking that this ost feels like some sort of like sad unfolding in the story it doesn't really feel like we're fighting a boss or something like that this feels like something that would happen in the story i don't i, I may sound stupid asking that question i don't know anything about bloodborne um i just assumed it was like um i don't really know much about these kind of games they never really appealed to me but maybe maybe i've been overlooking them maybe because this feels like sad, something devastating is happening in the story of the game. But I, I honestly didn't think it would have that much of a story. This is so different from Ludwig. Like, like my reaction is going to be so different to this one. This one is so deep, swelling, sad, depressing almost. This, this one feels like abandon all hope. It's like this swelling, fantastic orchestral performance that is just kind of breaking my heart. Like, I really feel like whenever this OST must be playing, something devastating has happened. That's, that's the sort of emotions it, it's, it's bringing out in me. It is completely different. Real two sides of a coin here with these Bloodborne OSTs. This one is, is so much more heavy and, and, and depressing almost. It's really got that kind of weight to it. Those fade outs, like the one we just had then, um, almost feel like, 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 almost feels like the songs ended in a way. Does that make sense? 
Um, like it sort of like wraps up, builds up, and then has like a fade out where it almost feels like you could actually like cut from there, and then we enter another song. Coincidentally, that one happened pretty much at the halfway point as well. So for all I know, it is a repeatable fade out, but I don't think it is. This is on the official channel. Um, very well done. This OST is incredible. I am I am mind blown with how many OSTs these days are just incredible and have like full flipping London Symphony Orchestra performances about them. In my head, I'm just imagining, like, I'm imagining a stage, right? London Symphony Orchestra stage. And then I'm imagining, um, I'm imagining, like, flipping one kid sitting on that stage. Well, well not a kid. I mean, it's an 18 game. One 18-year-old teenager sitting on that stage. Big open stage. Big TV of Bloodborne. Controller. Playing Bloodborne. And then behind them is just, like, an 80 like flip 80 people symphony orchestra just performing the ost to this game where there's just some like geeky teenager just sitting on stage playing it i love that i love that i want to I, I would pay to go watch that incredible soundtrack man it's so emotional the violin just carries this just breaks you down Absolutely incredible. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing one of these reactions to this chair. I'm losing my mind, flipping my chair over and stuff like that. Because this isn't the kind of song that warrants that. This is deep, devastating, brutal. It, like, everything it's bringing out is, is so well done. This, weirdly enough, weirdly, like, I, this is making me want to play the game more than Ludwig did. This is really sucking me into this, like, what looks like a like, flipping Victorian century England possessed with these demons, monsters, and ghouls with all this gothic scenery and this like devastating heartbreaking story which i'm imagining without even knowing if it's a real thing i kind of want to play this game now Is there a story? Is there a story to this game? Is there like a main campaign story? And another question, what's the deal with the main guy? What's the deal with the main dude? Um, I mean, it, it might not be a dude. Um, the main person, the head honcho, the, 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 the big kahuna. Um, the weapons. That's, that's what I want to know, the weapons. One of them, it was like some sort of grenade launcher or blunderbuss or something like that. But the one on the right, I assumed was a sword. However, the one on the right also looks like it has a trigger. It's got some sort of like thing on it that looks like a fuse light. But it looks like a sword. Is that a gun as well? 
The the angle of the handle would could make you think it was some kind of gun. Are these guns, what like, is that a gun? I kind of want to watch some Bloodborne gameplay. I haven't seen much of it. That's the honest truth. And I just always assumed it was flipping. This fly wants to watch. I just always assumed it was. Um, what is the deal with you? Go away. Go away, fly. Go away. I'm I'm, I'm having an important conversation. Ridiculous, man. I'm always trying to get the attention. Um. Yeah, with the story, I can't even remember what the flip I was saying. The flies attracted me, but yeah, but the, the, like, I always assumed it was literally like um, Dark Souls. I assumed it was exactly the same as Dark Souls. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, I just, I in my head, like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne. Those are these. In, this is what I was like, right? They're unforgiving, brutal. You play them, you're gonna die. Go all the way back to the start. Like, that's what I assumed they were. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I like being wrong. When I'm wrong, it's always really cool because it opens. If I'm if I if I'm so convinced that I'm right, and then I'm proved wrong, it opens up a whole other avenue I never even knew existed. Um, because in my head, that door was closed. That's how I look at. That's how I look at life. If I am 100%, this is what a corridor looks like, and which doors are open and closed. And someone goes, "Well, actually, that door's open. That door's open, and that door's open." I'm like, "Ooh, well, what's down there? Well, let's go have a look." look. So that's how I always feel like. So if Bloodborne isn't like that. Now I'm kind of wondering if it's more similar to like Dead Space, you know, in terms of like forgiveness and, and sort of gameplay. Could be something like that. Because Dead Space is actually my all-time favorite game. Dead Space, is, Dead Space is fantastic. I have a um a poster on my wall. Uh, uh, what's it called? Display. I've got a display of Dead Space and Starship Troopers. I need to get one of Scream and I wouldn't mind one of Evil Dead. Because uh, like my favorite game is, is uh, Dead Space. But my two favorite movies, I actually have like three favorite movies. Uh, but my two favorite movies are Scream and Starship Troopers. But, you know what? I do really love American Pie. I feel like if I was going to have three favorite movies, I might throw American Pie up there as well. But yeah, um, uh, Scream and, and Starship Troopers, just incredible. Hmm. Anyway, my friends, let me know what else I should be reacting to. There is a huge rabbit hole of video game music, and uh, we've been checking out loads of it. It's been a lot of fun, from retro ones to newer ones. So let me know, my friends, in the comment section down below. What is a video game OST I am yet to react to that I need to check out? Let me know. Let me know. A few people want some more Toho as well. Maybe we can react to some more Toho. I don't know. Put your recommendations down below and let me know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. And as always, my friends, have yourself an amazing weekend. And you right there will see me in the next video.